Hi, in this video, I'll walk you through what it's like connecting a Tamron lens to your mobile device and computer for firmware updates. We'll cover installing the Tamron lens utility software version 3.0 on your computer, what cables to use, and the proper way to update your Tamron lens firmware on a Mac. We'll also look at installing the Android app on a mobile device and connecting the lens to it. Let's dive right in. Starting with the Android app, head to Google Play Store and search for Tamron Lens Utility Mobile. When you find it, tap about this app to see the requirements, the features, and what's new in version 3.0, like lens customization, tethered remote control, and astro focus lock. More on app info here. Go ahead and install it. Here it is. Let's have a quick look at the app without connecting to it. It says you can use it to change the settings on the lens and or remotely control the focus functions. You can customize the switch button and focus ring, remote control feature, and digital follow focus that let you set a focus range between two points. Next, you can turn on your camera first or connect the lens to the mobile device first. When you connect the lens, you'll see a prompt asking, open lens utility to handle Tamron lens connector, select OK. And it is now connected, as you can see. Since I haven't updated the lens firmware to the current version yet, it doesn't support DFF. And note that you cannot update the lens firmware through this Android app. You must do it on a computer. All right then, let's update the lens firmware on a computer. But first, you'll need software for that, the Tamron Lens Utility software. You can go to this page, Downloads Tamron Lens Utility. I have a link for you below in the description. Scroll down to the bottom. You'll see the conditions required for Windows and Mac to run the software. And you can download the software at the bottom. This Tamron Lens Utility software for the computer is now at version 3. Before I download it, let's have a look at what additional features version 3 has to offer. Digital Follow Focus, Astro Focus Lock, Focus Stopper, Delay Time Start. For Astro Focus Lock, there is an astrophotographer, Hiroyuki Nerosawa, who covers this Astro Focus Lock feature in detail in a video. He also goes over other mobile features as well. But it's in Japanese, so you have to turn on subtitles, closed captions. I have the link to his video below. Now back to downloading the software. I have a Mac, so I'll download this. Minimize the browser. Go into Downloads pane and double click on the DMG file. And you'll see this pane. You must double click the install CP210X VCP driver to begin. If you get this, select Open. You're now in a driver installer. Select Continue. Continue again. Agree to terms. Continue once more and enter your admin password. If you get a system extension block message, open system settings. There, select privacy and security. Scroll to the security section and you'll see this. Select Allow and enter your password again. 
and you'll see installation of this driver succeeded. Select OK here and close here. Next, drag the Tamron Lens Utility icon into the folder. You now have the software in the applications. Go and find and drag it here. You can now delete the DMG file if you want to and close out everything. Let's now open the Tamron Lens Utility app or software on the computer. Select Open, select Start menu. Here in Caution, it implies that you should use their USB cable. Connect the cable directly to the computer and not through a hub. Don't let the computer go to sleep while connected. Don't attach or remove the lens while connected. And don't power off. About the USB cable, I am using the USB-C cable that came with my other camera, a Canon camera. I use it to transfer pictures off all my cameras often. In my experience, you can use any USB-C data transfer cable. If you want theirs, it's this one. Tamron Connection Cable CC350. Here's where you can go to b &H website and search for Tamron CC-350. You can plug one end to the Tamron compatible lens port. The USB-C port normally on the side of the lens. But before that, you should unmount the lens from the camera body. Now connect one end of the cable directly to the computer and again not using the hub and the other end to the lens port. On a Mac, allow accessories to connect. In the lens firmware update section of the utility software, after connecting everything, select start. Here you can see the current version is 3.0, the latest is version 4.0 and select update. And once again, same caution. Go ahead and select OK. Here you see it in real time, how long the process is, unedited, which is not that long. When you're done, you see updates have completed. Click the Remove button. Then disconnect the cable. And now the lens update is completely done. Let's take a look at the new version number on the camera. Install the lens. Go down and select Setup tab. Under Setup menu, scroll down to and select Setup Option group. In the Setup Option menu, go down to and select Version Item. And here you see Lens Version 4. There you go. Next, let's see again after the lens update, connecting it to the tablet, running the Lens Utility mobile app. Not using the magnetic adapter this time. If you're out in the field, you don't want to yank it out easily or accidentally. Then turn on the camera. Select OK. This time you don't see the message regarding the DFF feature not supported anymore. And here, selecting the DFF feature. Oh, just notice that the camera went to sleep. The app will not detect the signal until you wake it up.
they're connected to the 35 to 150 millimeter lens by turning off the camera completely you can see here no connection and turn on the camera message anyway that's connecting to the mobile device and this is the end of the video hopefully you get to see what it's like to install the software update the lens firmware and connecting the lens to the software and the mobile app and thank you for watching